Hello, my friends. Today, we have something very different, very interesting, and very, very cool happening. But it's going to take about a minute or so to actually explain what's going on, so please bear with me. A little while ago, Mindhawk, the creator of the Wings of Liberty reversed campaign, sent me a message. And he was like, hey, you did that, uh, you do challenge runs and stuff. How would you like me to make a custom campaign for you, Wings of Liberty, where I build in a series of various challenges on all the missions? And I was like, that sounds awesome. And then he brought up something that he was working on previously that he talked to me about. It was a way to streamline these campaigns. One of the things about all the campaigns in this stuff is that they're very strict. Right, you have to go through in a very specific order. You can't pick what upgrades you get a lot of the time, or the progression is just a little bit wonky compared to what the game is designed for. And he was like, "Well, I've figured something out." And I was like, "But, or, but it needs testing. It hasn't actually been tested yet, but he's pretty sure that it works." So, we are going to play in this incredibly new and unique style. Mindhawk's gauntlet that he has created for me so that we can test this new system of playing custom campaigns through the normal campaign tab. This is huge. It might not sound huge at the base, but if this works in the way that it should, he said it was infinitely easier to set up because the game has all the progression stuff built in. So, for example, all the laboratory research stuff, you don't need to program anything as the modder. All the armory stuff, not a problem. The planet order, whatever you want because it's Wings of Liberty. Wings of Liberty lets you pick it the way that you want to go, instead of being a strict list order. If this works, it's going to be so exciting. So let's jump into this and see if we have a custom campaign of Mindhawk trying to troll me in the Wings of Liberty client. So far, everything works perfectly, uh, but it might just be loading the normal client. We don't know. Let us see. Gauntlet, Rames Jainer. Rainer has been replaced with a discount version of himself. Oh no, he's just a Marine. <laughs> okay, well. Talk to me. Hmm. This is going to be a little bit different, isn't it? Hmm. Jim is real, real vulnerable, so I guess I want him in the back. Usually you can use Jim to be pretty aggressive, but he's going to have to be fire support. Interesting, interesting. This is actually really scary. Oh, we're going to have proper save load systems as well, auto saves, all that kind of stuff, even in custom campaigns. Ain't that exciting? If, if this works, I really hope it does. It's like, this could be revolutionary. Mindhawk said that the changes, or the first five missions, I think it was, that he made here, took him three hours to make. And for perspective, most of the time, getting missions made takes like days. <laughs> it's literally like, it's hard to explain how big of a change this is. Well, we haven't lost anyone yet. Now, these aren't the biggest changes in the world, you know. It's not going to be like some crazy, super wonky version of the campaign, but it should be really accessible to people. I'm like so scared about Jim, by the way. I'm just buying time because I don't want him to die. He's already at half HP. Oh, no. All right, so we're going to get the big drop pod wave. How do I want to deal with this? I'm going to do a quick save. I'm not going to check if we can load it, but I'm just going to assume that we can. I think what I want to do is dive in right over here. Pull some of these guys out. Just so we can take the drop pod more easily. And then kite these guys back. Oh, Jim, you're so low! 3 HP Rainer. Oh, I don't like this one bit, Jimmy. I'm pretty sure the bonus objectives don't give anything. 
Yeah, there's no point. You can count on me. Oh Sounds goodness. Like this is really interesting already. Just sell me. It completely changes how this mission goes. It's like if you did Heart of the Swarm without Kerrigan. You instantly don't have that powerhouse working for you. What's up? So we want him in the back with his damaged friends. Sell me. This is gonna be the last hard fight. Break it down. You can count on me. Well, not this fight, but the one after it. Oh, that's a lot of space marines. What's up? Okay. And now there's gonna be the truck. So for the truck, we have one high HP marine. Where is he? What's the plan? You're in the front. Then forward, 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 forward. Sell me. Save and go. All right. I think we have this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the civilians to bunch up. Nice and slowly. Full HP guy in the front. Now, what we want to do is pop right past this. You hit this line and it triggers them all. And we need them to help out. We're going to target fire the fire bat. Because the fire bat can do a lot of damage to the civilians. Raiders roll. Okay, now what we need to do is try to get these guys to destroy the two monuments at about the same time so that the Vikings... Oh, we don't want the Vikings to be landed. Well, the Vikings have... No! Well, let's make sure that saves work. This is the big moment. Yep, everything's normal. All right, so this is... This just works. This is great. I am, like, so super happy about this. I know that I didn't play well right there and got Jim targeted fired, but honestly, we're doing a little bit of beta testing right now. We're just figuring things out. By the way, guys, I want to know if people are interested in this. Like, is this actually something that you want to watch on the archives? I will do a full playthrough. What? What happened right there? I've never seen them do that before. They just walked around the guys in the Dominion facility. Okay, so apparently we need to target this down. The safe way is the aggressive way. Pull Jim back. Nice. Or is this just something that's kind of like, eh, and it's a lot more exciting for the potential future stuff and not necessarily for this. I'm interested in seeing what Mindhawk has come up with personally. Alright, now let's see if it lets us go. To the next mission without any problems. Yeah, this seems normal. Thanks, Jim. Let's launch. It is definitely worth keeping in mind that the trials that he puts me through are most likely going to be easiest at the beginning and get harder as time goes on because he is a reasonable person. Insurrection correction. Dominion brought some heavy equipment to deal with the... Oh, interesting. Huh. What does that mean? We'll need a lot more Marines before we take on the is that, like... Train them up at the <laughs> it's not going to be the Odin, right? <laughs> when they say heavy equipment on Mission 2, it's going to be like a siege tank, right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think the Odin would be a good design decision. <laughs> but man, that would be so funny. Oh, man. It reminds me of when we did Tw Twitch Trolls Grant, and there was just, like, Talder and Mothership's vaporizing the colonists and stuff over there. It was beautiful. Alright, so I'm getting some medics. I'm gonna get a nice defensive line set up, all that kind of stuff. I don't want to get targeted down. This should be decent enough as a start. I'm gonna get a forward depot. I'm going to try some new stuff out that I've been thinking about in these campaigns, like just positional stuff a lot of the time. Where should I be putting my guys to defend? I think that having this depot will actually be pretty useful. And then my guys are a little bit behind it. I might mess with the attack wave that way. But I'm not entirely sure. Okay, you waddle on over there and... We're almost fully saturated. Eventually it will show us the bonus objective, but I don't want to move out if we know for a fact that 
Things are going to get bad. You want a piece of me, boy? Mm. Oh, I thought it was a cinematic event or something, but no. I just clicked on the unit complete thing. I'm going to put two guys on to gasoline. And then I can have the other guys mining. Whoa! Hmm. Wow. That's not good. I thought they were going after the rebels, not... I thought the heavy ordinance against the rebels, I thought that was in reference to the bonus objective. But it seems like it was in reference to my face. Good to know. What's going on? That means I'm going to change my setup. That was scary. Alright, we have two medics. I am going to poke around and just see if there's some things that I can skim off while I'm waiting. And I'm going to get big marine energy while we're doing this. Please don't have a tank up here. All right, this area is pretty fine. I'm still fairly low on supplies. I might have to defend another of the scary Goliath death waves that apparently exist. What I'm going to try to do is use this hole against them. So they're going to hit this, and then what I'm going to do is like walk up here. That's going to aggro them. They're going to come over here, and hopefully as they pull around that angle, I can get a good number of shots off, and that'll be how I... Clean them up fairly easily. Not convinced it's going to work, but I do feel behind right now. So just getting back into shape would be good. These depots are slow to finish. I need to try to keep my medics alive as well. Oh yeah, there's like no special stuff. Okay, that's an attack way. What? Those folks need our help. <laughs> That's a Thor. There's no way we're leaving them to rot. <sighs> hmm. The doctor is in. <laughs> Face is under attack. I think I might be a little bit behind. Let's see if we can pull some of these forces forward. Alright, target down the Thor. The medic doesn't do anything. Well, it does a little bit. You know, I didn't actually lose that much right there. But my goodness, for a mission that doesn't have anything besides Marines and medics, I definitely am feeling the lack of... useful stuff. A bunker would be nice. Whoa! Um, this area looks like it is getting pressured with extra stuff, actually. Take a look at that. There's only one guy remaining. We're going to have to go rescue that. Let's try heading up north. This might be a full reset. On the freaking outlaws. Okay, for this, you want to target fire individual guys so that the medic healing doesn't do too much. That's the most efficient way. And now having this extra cash probably help out. I've kind of decided that the medic is not that good. And that base is dead. Well, there's still money at the bonus objective. We're going to have to get more racks over here then. I think what happens is the attacks against the rebels, if I don't rescue them, will just go to me instead. Oh, no. I'm going to die. Like, straight up. There's nothing I can do here. I actually need to see if I can use my back army. Yeah, look at that. This is the attack against the rebel outpost that is now heading over to me. So we're going to try to kite the Thor over here while we use our... Nope. Not a chance. All right. I can do this uh, now that I know exactly what's going to hit me. 
Or rather, now I know to respect that very first attack wave. It should be okay. I think that if I take the first attack wave well, everything else will just kind of fit into place very nicely. Well, my plan is going to be is I'm going to hold the first attack wave with flying colors. I'm going to go Rax Rax, not build any depots or anything, and then get a lot of marine production going, ignore gas, and push up. Well, not push up. Defend against the attack, push up, get the money, swing down, get the rebels, and then start getting gas, build a defensive position. I think that's a good plan. I really like this already. It's like a complete new version of StarCraft for me. There's these little, little additions of, here's some Thors, now you're dead. <laughs> uh, if you like this kind of idea, then stay tuned, because the Nightmare Edition of Wings of Liberty is going to come out, and it's going to be a lot less scripted difficulty, and more just like, what would happen if there was a Blizzard-level difficulty that is above Brutal? and if some of the overpowered things in the campaigns were nerfed. So, for example, one of the ones that we're trying to target is Orbital Strike, or just Bio being too good in general and Mech not being very strong at all. That sort of stuff. Firebats being garbage. Um, I guess when I say Bio is too good, I actually mean Marines are too good. It's going to be really fun, and that is going to be coming out at the end of this month. I'm going to be playing it on stream starting in the third weekend of this month. And that is being made by Rahim, so obviously it's going to be great, because Rahim is the king of games. I really don't want to die to these first Goliaths. I, I'm i unsure if three barracks is too greedy, or if it is I need this much production in order to actually be able to deal with it. It is somewhere between those two. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Nope. Maybe two would have been more correct. My gosh. Oh no, bad rally. Oh no. Pop these guys over here. Let's get a repair going. Yeah, I just didn't quite have time. I do feel like three racks would have been the right amount of infrastructure, but maybe I needed to go two and then just stop. This is okay, though. I'm not taking that much damage. I'm not spending that much money on repairs. I am losing half the life on my guy every time that he spawns. Dude, Goliaths are ridiculous! Oh, it's a 1-1 one -one Goliath! <laughs> Alright. One more time. I'll go two racks. One racks wasn't enough. Three racks was too much. Two racks will be just right. What's going on? Who was? So the way I'm going to do this one is I'm not going to get gas, and instead I'm going to focus purely on building marines until I have enough excess money. Oh, but I'm going to get supply blocked really fast. I need that depot. Train them up at the command center. I genuinely think that if I can hold this first attack, it won't be that bad, but this is just a standard thing in most custom campaigns, is that the early game difficulty spike is really high, especially when you don't have options. Right? It's not like I can pop out a Marauder or something and be like, alright, this is how I'm going to deal with the Goliath. It's just like, well, you have to have the perfect opening build order, and if you don't, you die. Additionally, what I'm going to do is move this guy right here, and I don't really enjoy like being super AI abusive when I'm not doing a very, very strict challenge run. If I'm just like playing normally, I don't really want to abuse the AI, but I feel like I have to right here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my depot right here, and you will see how this AI abuse works. It's pretty simple. And hopefully it's going to give me enough. We just kind of want to build the funnel up this way. Gangway, coming through. Hmm. 
it is very interesting how tough it is at the beginning. I'm not really a fan of when they have upgrades and I don't. I just, uh... I just don't like early games. Or early campaign parts. <laughs> Unless I have the Stalker. I like early game Legacy of the Void because I can make Stalkers and generally figure my way out of that. Well, this is a lot of stuff this time. This feels pretty good. I'm not going to build another barracks. Here they come. No, don't go that way. Alright, and now we have them in the choke. Can you walk this way? Nope. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can get the marine to, like, pop over here. Yeah, there we go. Well, we held. Now, if we can get critical mass enough to not die against the Thor, that's going to be real important. I'm not sure that I can actually build medics. Because uh, one of the things that happens on Brutal is any sort of support unit will get targeted down by the AI. And if they have Thors, then the Thor is going to be able to... Does it one or two shot medics? I think it's... It might be one shot. Either way, it's going to be a huge investment of resources for a unit that is going to be target fired immediately and provide effectively no value. So I sort of feel like just going mass marines is a correct call here. And be prepared for Mr. Thor himself. So this time what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to defend the Thor attack and then I'm going to blitz over here to save it. I still don't think I'm ready for this. Good. That'll keep the Dominion off our backs. So this is fine because there's no Goliaths. There's no way we're leaving them to rot. Go, go, go! This better be good. I didn't see the Thor walk by. Oh, it's gotta be on the way. Oh no. I am really concerned. I need more depots. Here it is. Start engaging early. Fight the marines in the choke point for free kills. Yep, that worked out just fine. Now we gotta walk forward, target down the Thor. You are doing pretty well. Alright, let's go. Yeah, so you really gotta cheese these early ones. I'll make sure when we get to zero hour that I'm like super, super well prepared so that dumb stuff doesn't happen. I think part of it is you get so like caught off, not caught off guard, but just so relaxed because it's like, come on. All I can make is Marines. How am I going to do it wrong? Well, it turns out that you need to build Marines in exactly two barracks. Otherwise, you are instantly and forever destroyed. So for this next one, or rather from now on, what I'm going to try to do is abuse the high ground to defend. And hopefully that'll be good. Yeah, look at that. If there's a Thor that has to walk up there, he'll be a very unfortunate. <laughs> and that's why I made this video. Just for that pun. We're done now. Bye. Alrighty. So when does this next Thor wave attack? Because I actually want to get this money up here, but I can't do that until the Thor comes by. Mr. Dominion, can the Thor come out to play? I'm going to be very cautious attacking into the base, because if they have Thors here, then they probably have Thors there. That's just science. Oh, there's some dollary dues over here. Look at that. Oh, and there's some death. Dominion can go to hell. Okay, bye. <laughs> I thought they were just leaving. Dominion can go to. Oh, okay. You didn't have to be so mean. 
We're just trying to do our jobs. Alrighty, now we push up here, and then we're gonna try to secure the Bunker of Death. That area seems pretty good. I think I've gotten to a point where I have critical mass for anything outside of their base. I don't know what it's going to be like inside of that base, though, especially with the rally. Oh, they have an armory. Look at that. What would be cool is if instead of 1-1, they just progressively got upgrades over time. I know that's how they normally work, but... I don't know, I think it's a better system. I like it when the enemies start out at 0-0 zero, zero like you do. It'd be extra cool if you could snipe the armory. Because normally in the campaigns, the way that it works is they just get 1-1 one, one in a certain amount of time. It's not like they research it. And that's not nearly as scary as I thought it would be. Alright, Bunker of Death. You got nice job. Not much. So my thought is build up a concave. And then they're going to attack into me. Interesting. They're building Hellions up. I wonder. Why are they doing this? That is. Just part of the attack wave I guess. They're going full mech. That's actually much worse than the Goliaths. If they had just gone Goliaths, they probably would have kept doing much better. The Thor wasn't even as scary as the Goliath was. Alright, trying to get on top of this tank. Then if we can target down the factory, there's going to be no more Thors. Alright, so the difficulty of the base was truly unchanged. It was just the attack waves. Got it, got it. So that was partially my misunderstanding of the objective. Or the special bonus challenge. Still. Doable. Requires a little bit of thinking and effort. That was pretty fun. As fun as you can make that mission when it's not deathless. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you are interested in more of this, please tell me in the comments what you think. This is a really cool idea, in my opinion, and I didn't find one of the resource plates. That's really embarrassing. Thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.